Hello guys. Hi. Welcome uh, back to my channel. Today, the tea is boiling hot. This is sparkling water. That's fine. It's actually super good. It's that sparkling ice and it's watermelon strawberry. And I'm about to buy these by the case because I love them. Anyway, we're going to be getting into some the drama. Mm -mm -mm. So I just filmed this like base makeup tutorial. It should be up. So I'm going to finish off the look. I'm going to do some fucking eyeshadow and shit. Probably nothing crazy, but why not? While we talk about this interesting drama that has unfolded on ye old internet today tonight this afternoon wherever it is when where you're fucking watching me oh i forgot a step in my base makeup i didn't even use my glow cake which i desperately need today so i'm gonna do that real quick pixie glow cake unicorn cosmetics brush and i really just kind of go to these two shades and just kind of beat beat and i like to blend my bronzer and my blush and my highlight together right in the corners here oh, looks so good Mm. Mm. That looks good. Moving on. So I'm going to be talking about the lovely, the beloved, not really beloved, <sighs> fucking Kardashians. You heard me right. I'm going to be talking about the goddamn Kardashians. Just take a moment, please. I don't really talk about the Kardashians because I don't really care. But for some reason, I know so much about them. And I think everyone has that same feeling of, I know so much about the Kardashians and I don't know why I know so much about them. But I'll grab my Alien palette and this fucking fantastic Pixie E02 brush. And we're going to go into Titan right here. But okay. So unless you've been living under a rock in the world, you will know that the whole Kardashian clan is up in fucking flames. Because supposedly, allegedly, Jordan Woods, who nobody knew who she was, except for that she's Kylie Jenner's BFF, lived at Kylie's house, was um, riding on her coattails, has hooked up with Khloe Kardashian's man. But then again, hasn't everybody hooked up with Tristan Thompson? Am I just an asshole? I don't know. Anyway, so, Everybody's mad, up in arms. You have destroyed my family, says Chloe. You broke my family up. Okay, so my McKay's thoughts here on the matter will begin with the mm -mm -mm. that man is a cheating machine. He cheated on his pregnant girlfriend with you, unless you are forgetting that completely. He cheated on her with with you, Chloe. And then um, left her for you, so that's why we're in this fucking predicament to be to begin with, is because um, you got with a cheating ass fucking man. Then you t he cheated on you, Miss Chloe, while you were pregnant with your daughter, like a day or so before you gave birth. It like that timeline is messy. Like it was right before she had that baby. And he got caught. I mean, he didn't do it that day, I don't think. But he got caught the day of or the day before she gave birth to her baby. Okay? And then she was like, you know what? I think we can work it out. I'm not hating on her for that. Good for you. You know, trying to work out your shit and keep your family together. I'm never going to fault anybody for that. And I refuse. I think that if you need to do whatever you need to do for your own, like, sanity. And if that is taking back a man that's probably not shit because you think you want to work it out, that's that's all good. That's you. That's your life. And I think people really need to calm down with that a little bit on her. Be like, it's your own fault because you took back a cheating man. She was doing a desperate thing to try to keep her family together. And y'all don't need to be fucking acting an asshole to her for that. We all done that. I've done that shit. Hell, not my current husband, but there's some extra, extra juicy tea for you. I've done that too. But anyway, the internet lost its mind when apparently Tristan and Jordan were caught canoodling at a house party. I don't know what they was done between them. Jordan was, went on Red Table Talk and said that uh, nothing happened. They just kind of kissed a little bit, which already that's something happening. Like maybe I'm a dick. I don't know. But 
we just made out a little bit. Is some something happened then? Like you you did stuff with them. If you made out with them, nobody's gonna be cool with you just making out a little bit with their man. No, no. So that's what happened. Then Chloe decides she's gonna go on her Twitter and be like, "Hey, guess what? You ruined my family. You're a fucking liar, and you should be ashamed." Yep, you did tear our family apart. I can't blast Tristan because the father of my child, and I won't. Call him out publicly because he's addressed this to me privately and you have never talk, tried to talk to me. You didn't try to work this out with me at all and blah, blah, blah. But then the internet got a hold of it and said, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, here's a thousand pictures of you smashing your friend's fucking men. So, oh, and then there's a whole other thread of you acting like you're sleeping with Scott Disick, which is her sister's baby daddy and then well miss kardashian decided that it is a hundred percent tristan's fault and he is the one that destroyed their family and he is not off the hook but okay listen i'm not here to condemn anybody's choices in men that is not my prerogative that is not my business i don't care but he has showed a pattern of behavior to her and the rest of the world. And it's just silly to me that all these women are like, oh, well, he cheated with me. He'll never cheat on me, girl. Yet, are you new? Are you brand new to this earth? Yeah, he will. He'll cheat on you because he cheats. That's what they do. Them cheating ass men, they cheat. And she just acted so oblivious. Jeffree Star got in the middle here, too, for a minute. We need to discuss that briefly. He jumped in there and was like, because they all live in the same town. He was like, everybody in this town knows that Jordan and Tristan have been hooking up for months. The whole town knows. Everybody in this whole town has been talking about this. Where the fuck have you been? Like, we all knew. Whole town. And a lot of people are really critical of Jeffrey jumping in the middle of it. But I honestly think if he's got some tea, he's going to spill it. Especially when it comes to stuff like that. And I agree with him to an extent that she is too good to be dealing with all this stuff. She doesn't have to stay with him just because they have a baby together. He has a baby with somebody else. Guess what? He's not with her. And it's fine like you don't have to be together just because you have a kid it's easier that's for sure raising your kid is easier if the parents are together but you don't have to be like you don't got to being together is not required if you have a child but you know that's fine and dandy and if she wants to be with him that's a whole different thing my whole take on this entire thing is since when and like not since when, because it's been forever. When are we going to make these men be responsible for what they do instead of blaming everybody else? It was not Jordan. Jordan maybe, but that's like a little bit different of a situation because that was somebody you considered your family and everything. But the person that's supposed to be faithful to you is your man. These women, these other women, they didn't make any promises to you. Like, you can be mad at them if you just want to, but that's not going to really do anything for you. They didn't promise you anything. You need to make these men that are doing this stand up and take some responsibility for themselves instead of being able to just be like, oh, well, you know, boys will be boys. No. Not, no. It's 2019. Boys will be responsible for their fucking selves. They will be held accountable for their actions. That's just how that shit is. And I don't, I just don't agree with that. That's your baby daddy. The person you need to be going hard after is him. The person that did you wrong was him. Now, in that situation, I will, it is a little different because that was her family friend that she's known her entire life. So, she did you wrong too. Like that, but the person that you should be focusing all your anger on is the man that betrayed you and your relationship. Like that, that's the person that you need to be mad for is the person that is stepping out on his family. And I just think that a lot of it's real dumb. And it does suck for Kylie Jenner because she's 100% in the middle of this. She had, I mean, she, I don't know if she kicked Jordan out of the house or if Jordan left voluntarily. I don't know. 
But she did leave Kylie's house where she was living. And she did move in with her mom. And I'm sure that's really sad for Kylie. Somebody that she's been best friends with her entire life. And now they, they aren't friends anymore. And that's probably super sad for her. Like, I, I can see how it would be. Like, as somebody who has friends, like anybody else, you would be sad if you had to stop being friends with somebody. Nobody likes that shit. It's not fun. Now, does she have to stop being friends with her is a whole other question that everybody seems to be raising. My opinion is, yeah, you kind of do. Like, you, you kind of need to not be her friend after she did something like that to your sister. Because at the end of the day, family is the most important. And it sucks because it really didn't have anything to do with you. But you can't, you can't, you can't keep being friends with somebody that fucked your sister's man. Like, no, that's not your friend no more. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry if your feelings are real hurt by that, but you cannot. Unless you're one of those people, you know, if you don't like your family and if you and your family aren't close and your sister's the worst person in the world in your opinion, and maybe you can. I don't know. I personally wouldn't. But I love my little brothers, so I, I would not be friends with anybody that did them wrong ever, regardless of my relationship with those people, because that's my family, and I feel like family is the most important thing. Not everybody feels that way, and I can 100% respect that, but you got to understand why she would be sad. She's gotten a lot of criticism and backlash for the fact that she didn't unfollow Jordan immediately on Instagram and stuff. Well, I mean, it's going to take her some time. She's got a, a lot of cord to cut. You feel me? There's a lot more to it than just, I'm cutting you off forever. She had to pack up herself and actually move. That didn't take five minutes. She had to actually do it. Kylie had to come to terms with deciding, did my friend actually do this horrible thing to my sister or not? Because she's saying, no, she didn't. Tabloids are saying, yes, she did. And she had to see, get to the fucking bottom of it. Because nobody's trying to cut off their friends forever if they don't even know the full story, you know. And she had to figure out, you know, if she believed it. What the whole story was. what What's actually going down. And I don't blame her that she still follows her on social media. I couldn't imagine that this is easy for any parties involved whatsoever. So maybe everybody just needs to take a beat and be a little bit more considerate. And thinking that maybe, just maybe, all this stuff is a little more complicated than we see. So, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. I think that people are getting a little crazy with, you know, canceled culture is really a thing now. And it's so easy to just be like, nope, canceled, canceled forever. You are super canceled. Cancel, canceled, canceled. And, you know, I get it to an extent. Sometimes you need to cancel people, like Laura Lee, poor thing. She she had that shit coming. But, people get canceled for everything. They're trying to cancel Kylie Jenner because she wasn't so eager to cut the cord with somebody that's been her best friend her entire life. That's a little fucked up. And I'm not a fan of Kylie or any of the Jenner clan because I don't give a shit at all. Like, I don't, like, buy into that stuff. I feel like everything about them that I've learned, I've learned against my will. Because <laughs> I didn't want to know any of these things. But you can't help it. It's like your whole, our whole culture is following that one family's around. They have a thousand seasons on that show. And that's every media outlet. You get on Facebook, boom. You hear about Jordan Woods. You get on Instagram, boom. Jordan Woods, Kylie Jenner. You can't help but piece it all together. And that's what every YouTube channel is talking about. And yeah had a couple people ask me what my thoughts on the whole thing are and I mean honest to god that's it I just feel like a lot of it's dumb and a lot of their stuff I feel like could be solved let me give them some advice here you could solve a lot of your problems if you would stop making everything so goddamn public and just handle your problems by yourself just handle them you don't have to tell the whole world that you're handling them you don't need I mean fucking Kylie had a she was pregnant for, she had a whole baby and didn't nobody know she was pregnant maybe do that Maybe don't tell everybody all your business all the time. And then wonder why your life's not awesome. Because you had... You did, everybody knows everything that's going on in your life. That's ridiculous. Have some privacy in your own life. And if you do, you'll be so much happier. I promise you will be. I, everybody's happier when they stop letting the entire world weigh in on what's going on in their personal life.
I cannot think of one person that would say, oh, I'm just a lot less happy now that the whole internet doesn't have an opinion about me. I don't think that's a real thing. I think that's, that is fake fucking news. And I got on a really big tangent here. Wow, that's a stain brush. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I feel bad for him to an extent. I really feel bad for that little baby that's all in the middle of this. And any of the babies that get caught in the middle of this drama. Because that's not their, like, deal. Like, they're, they're babies. They don't know what the fuck is going on. And it's these tiny little beings that are having to deal with their parents split up. Or whatever else. Because they're super under the public eye. Like, a normal person is less likely to cheat on their spouse, I think, I don't really know, than a celebrity who has women throwing themselves at him a million times a day. I feel like that is a little bit different than a normal person. you just walking down the street yourself. You're not going to have a woman try to sit in your lap every time you sit down. It's different. But, I mean, I guess that's the price of celebrity? I don't know. But I can't really fault her wanting to make her family stick together. Like, there's nothing really wrong with that. Keep your family together if you can. I personally, in my own opinion, don't think he's ever going to stop cheating on her. He's made that abundantly clear. And it sucks because this will be her second big, important relationship in her life that has ended because of cheating. Like, Lamar Odom cheated on her too and was like on drugs and everything was super bad. And I think that's really sad. That this is how a lot of these relationships are ending because we just live in such a crazy hookup culture that people are not monogamous anymore or they don't have that mindset that they should be. That it's more of a forgiveness culture of, well, I only cheated on you once and it wasn't even that big of a deal and you should just take me back because we have all this, you know, history. And it's different. Like, I understand if you're in a polyamorous relationship, then you're, that's okay to do. Because that has been discussed already, but if you have been discussing monogamy and that's what you have decided that you're going to do is be monogamous with your partner, then that's what you should fucking do. Or you should leave them and go find a partner that is cool with you hooking up with other people. I mean, fucking Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith talk about it all the time, that they're open. They're just like, you know... Something as stupid as sex isn't going to ruin our relationship. We'll just, we're very open and honest. And I'll tell her, hey, I really want to have sex with this person. How do you feel about that? And they work out their shit that way. I personally would be setting bitches' houses on fire. Like, I don't play that game. But a lot of people are cool with it. Like, the world is so open now. Go find somebody that's cool with your fuckery. Go do that. And then we won't have these big, giant, blow-up issues. Because you will have already discussed this with your partner. And it'll be okay. But, that's just too hard for people that like to be sneaky. You know what I mean? There's people that that, that is their, their deal. They want to be sneaky. And it's not fun for them if they don't have to sneak around to get it. Which is sad. But, you can't change those people. You can just be with somebody else. You hear me, Chloe? You'll never see this video, but I'm giving you some good advice. Because I have been where you're at. You don't change those people. No matter how many chances you give them. All you're doing is teaching them that you will take them back. No matter what they do. And that's not the message you want to be given to your daughter. At all. Is that. Well you just have to let a man do whatever he wants. And to treat you real bad. Or a woman. Whatever. And then you just put up with it. Because you yourself want to be with him so bad. And that to me. Is the biggest load of fucking bullshit. I've ever heard in my goddamn life. I went off on a big old tangent here. I don't think anybody learned anything about eye makeup. I, was, I, I really wasn't trying to like do a tutorial. I was just going to put on the rest of my makeup while I had a little discussion with you guys. And that's exactly what the fuck I did. I think it turned out kind of cute, huh? This lip combo may not be my favorite, but I think it's pretty. It's my Jeffree Star I'm Nude Liquid Lipstick with the Tartiste Lip Paint and Insta Famous on top. It's a little glittery. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. And um, what are your thoughts? What do you, what do you, how do you feel about this whole ordeal? You can leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, you can follow me on all my social media accounts. You can follow me on Instagram at Grunge X Glitter X, and you can follow me on Snapchat and Twitter at Grunge X Glitter. You can follow me on Facebook at Grunge and Glitter KP. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.